Most people fail at affiliate marketing, not because it's hard, but because they're missing a key piece of information. And after studying several marketers who have mastered the art of affiliate marketing, I've uncovered tactics that most beginners miss and cause them to fail. So in today's video, I'll be revealing the first steps you need to take to get into affiliate marketing, how to get started with just $7, as well as the common pitfalls and how you can avoid them. What are the most profitable marketing niches for beginners? This is the story of my friend Aaron. So it's late at night and he's sitting in front of his computer, eyes glued to the screen with excitement. He's about to start his Instagram affiliate marketing journey, but now he's faced with the decision of choosing his niche. But fast forward to one year later, and now he has two Instagram accounts, both with over 100 followers each. Which niche did he choose? Well, he chose the dog niche. Sounds awesome, right? After all, who doesn't love dogs? But there's one problem. He, he never owned a dog in his life. In fact, he didn't even like dogs that much. He's more of a cat person, to be honest. Despite this, he powered through, managing to grow a massive community of dog lovers. But as you know, business isn't always smooth sailing. As he faced challenges like shipping delays, his lack of passion for the niche became obvious. And passion is what fuels you through tough times. But in his case, each problem felt like a mountain to climb without any motivation to reach the peak. And this situation served as a wake-up call. It taught him a crucial lesson. Success in business isn't about picking the most profitable niche. It's about going with something that excites you. But passion isn't always enough. Because if you're passionate about something that nobody actually enjoys or cares about, then that won't work either. So you want to pick a niche that a specific audience can relate to. And that's where the three big markets come into play. Health, wealth, and relationships. These areas are popular because they tap into our fundamental human desires. So if the niche you choose is relevant to any of the big three desires, then you're off to a great start. Now, after picking your niche, the next step is what makes or breaks your affiliate marketing success. And one year into my affiliate marketing journey, I was doing all right. I started with promoting a few offers from Digistore, and that was getting a few sales here and there, but the commissions were tiny and inconsistent. But then I learned a lesson that would change absolutely everything. So imagine two shops on the same street. One guy, let's call him Joe, sells cheap products and everything's like 10 bucks. The other guy, well, let's call him Max. He sells high-end items, each priced at $1,000 each. Joe's shop is busy. He's making 30 to 40 sales per day, but the revenue isn't exactly booming. It's a lot of hustle and bustle for a little return. Now look at Max. His shop isn't as busy, but it's relaxed and he confidently makes one sale. And guess what? He's already out earned Joe's entire day, possibly even his entire week. And this realization hit me like a ton of bricks. I was being like Joe when I should have been aiming to be more like Max. Selling low ticket items on Digistore was like running a marathon and barely moving an inch. But shifting to high ticket items, that's where I started to make real progress. Instead of making $50 per sale, now only one sale would net me $1,000 in commission. But it didn't stop there. With this affiliate program, they also offer other high ticket backend offers that they market to your customers and get paid a $1,500 commission when they convert. But wait, there's more. Being in the digital marketing niche, I was personally using a software called ClickFunnels to set up my sales funnel and my landing page. Turns out that ClickFunnels had an affiliate program as well. So I knew the product was good and it was relevant to my niche. It ended up being a match made in heaven. So whenever someone signed up using my link, I continue to get paid as long as they keep using the software. It was a double win because it allowed me to make consistent income while encouraging me to promote products I actually believe in. Now you can choose the best product in the world, but without any traffic to your link, then you won't be making any money. How do you actually get people to click on your affiliate link in the first place? Now there are two ways to go about this. One, you have free traffic and the other is paid traffic. When I first started with affiliate marketing, I wanted to make money fast. So I went straight for paid traffic. Just pay some money and watch the clicks roll in. Easy, right? But here's a twist. It drove traffic, but none of them interacted with the content at all. So it increased my views, but it resulted in zero sales. So although I thought paid ads were a shortcut, they, they really weren't. 
The truth is, I decided to switch my focus to growing an audience on social media, and that's when I began to see progress. And the best part about building a following online is that you have a digital asset that you can monetize forever. Now, the social media platform that you choose to focus on is up to you. I found a lot of success with TikTok and YouTube, but it may be best to go with what you consume the most content from. This is because you have a better understanding and idea of how the platform works. So if you're still watching, then you're serious about getting out of debt and stop living paycheck to paycheck. Click on the link in the description to take the same course that I took, only $7 to get started. And click here to see the complete review that I did on the course so you'll have all the detail you need. Please leave me any questions you have in the comments below, any comments as well. And if this has been helpful in any way, please consider liking and subscribing for more content on how to make money online. Much love. Oh,